Hi guys, so this is a tutorial for week two, assignment one for the Photoshop workshop, um, also known as the Photoshop short course. I'm going to walk you through assignment one, which deals with creating selections and adding them to a document. I've already gone ahead and downloaded and opened all of the files required for this assignment. So go ahead and download those and open them in Photoshop. You can open multiple documents in Photoshop and just minimize them um, to get them out of the way. Um, so that you have them to use when you need them. And then uh, the next step is to create a new Photoshop document with a certain um, variety of settings. So choose File, New, and in this little dialog box you need to make sure that you have an image size of 8 inches by 6 inches. So if you go to the width and the height here you can change the parameters um, from pixels to inches and then change the width to 8 inches and just by typing that in change the height to 6 inches so that you have your image size of 8 by 6 and you need then the resolution to be 72 ppi and my resolution is already set at 72 type in 72 if you need to make sure that this is set to pixels per inch as well since we're dealing with inches and then the color mode needs to be RGB color um, and the background contents need to be white. So those settings need to be uh, typed in and then click OK. And you get a new blank white document with those particular dimensions that opens up. And you can just leave it open. Um, I just usually leave it open on the side. And then we need to open up the document that we need to work with first, which is the marquee select document this one here. Now if you open it and it's too large you can just hit control minus to zoom out. Control minus zooms out control plus zooms in. Really handy short keyboard shortcut to know. Um, so keep that one in mind when you're working with uh, document, multiple documents especially. Then um, it tells you to use the rectangular marquee tool, which is this little square tool with a d dashed line on the top left in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Select this tool by just clicking on it. And then um, make sure that you have the options set correctly up here. You have different options. You can make a new selection, you can add to a selection, you can subtract from a selection, and you can intersect with selection. You want either new selection or add to selection initially. So I'm just going to leave it on add to selection and just click and drag a box around the entire frame like so. And then the next thing they want you to do is subtract out the white area in the middle. So for that we come up here and we choose subtract from selection and then you see what happens is now you have a little minus sign on your on your crosshairs and if I click and drag in the white area to, to deselect the white area now I have just the frame selected how do I know I have this just the frame selected well I can go now to the move tool which is V and um, I find that the easiest way to get a selection out of one document and into the next is to just have them both open side by side like this. Choose the move tool and just click and drag it into my new document. So now I've clicked and dragged that frame into the new document. Okay, So we can close this out, we don't need this anymore. Um, the next tool is the elliptical marquee tool um, and they want you to use that on globes which is this document here. So once again you're going to select the marquee tool. This time if you click and hold on the rectangular marquee tool the elliptical marquee tool will be listed just underneath the rectangular marquee tool. So select the elliptical marquee tool and I'll tell you one other trick that you can do. Um, if you hold down shift while you're dragging a selection, oh wait a minute, first of all um, I forgot the first first thing to do. I have now up here it says subtract from selection so if I drag I'm going to be I'm not going to be doing anything except subtracting a certain area but I want to add so I'm going to click on add to selection. 
So now if I just click and drag, I can click and drag an oval or an ellipse. But if I hold down shift, it will pop that oval, that ellipse into a perfect circle. And then I can also simultaneously hold down spacebar to drag that circle around on my page. So those are a couple of uh, good shortcuts to use when um, working with the elliptical marquee tool. Now I want to do make sure that after I make one selection I need to have the add to selection um, toggle switch on so that when I click and drag another um, oval and then hit spacebar to reposition it and maybe make it a little bigger and spacebar to reposition I'll have added one selection to the next selection show you how to do that once more I'm going to click and drag, I've made an oval, but I have it in the wrong position. So now I'm just going to hold down spacebar, and now when I, when I move my mouse, instead of making the uh, ellipse larger or smaller, it actually just moves the ellipse around on the page. Um, so that's a handy thing to know, it's good for positioning. And um, again, can't stress enough that it's how, much, how important it is to have the Add to Selection button selected so that you are adding to your initial selection here to just pick out the coins. And like I said, Shift is really handy. If you hold down Shift, it will constrain the, um, the proportions of your, of your lips into a perfect circle. And since we know these are perfect circles, that um, helps with our selection also. So again, sh holding down um, shift to uh, constrain proportions and spacebar to reposition your selection. Um, two very handy keyboard shortcuts to play with for this particular step of the assignment. Okay, so once you have everything selected, again, you can just go to the Move tool, which is V, and click and drag and voila your little coins have been removed and put into your um, new blank document. So close out globes, we're done with that. The next one is the lasso tool. This one here. So they want you to use the lasso tool to select the light bulb. The lasso, to lasso tool is just below the uh, marquee tools. It's also got a keyboard shortcut of L. And this is kind of like just drawing freehand. So I usually start out beyond the edge of the document and then um, continue around the edge of the uh, object I'm selecting. And you know, it's, it's hard to do with a mouse, easier to do if you have a, um, have a pen tablet. But, you know, just roughly select the light bulb as well as you can. I'll show you something else you can do other than just using the move tool V to click and drag your light bulb. You can also go to edit copy to copy your selection. Then click on the other document that you want to copy the paste that in, um, selection into and then click edit paste and it will paste uh, a light bulb into your new document for you. So that's all for the lasso tool. Next up is the polygonal lasso tool. Polygonal lasso tool has to do with uh, another feature of the lasso tool, which is a uh, kind of a more geometric shape thing. So if you again click and hold down the lasso tool, you'll find the polygonal lasso tool. Um, I'm just holding my left mouse button, and this selection menu opens up and I can select the polygonal lasso tool and it looks different from the um, elliptical or the regular lasso tool rather it's got a little bit of a geometric shape to it so when you click with this it creates a uh, a pivot point basically a vector point and then you can click and um, in another location and so this is great for selecting geometric shapes and then when you put when you want to finish the selection you want to drag it over your start point until you see a little circle appear see that tiny little circle that appears when I get it in the right position that tells me that I am now closing my selection and once it's closed you'll see a little dashed line